Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday, dear Gary. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Gary. Love you guys. Hey. <laughs> oh God. That's the last time I pick a wine without conferring with Wine Library TV first. <laughs> Action. Gary! Hello from the California Vaniacs. California Vaniacs. I can't even say it. It's Tony! It's Tony and Brandon M. Hey. Everybody. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Gary! Woo! <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> Cut. Hello everybody and welcome to Wine Library TV. I'm your host, 31-year-old Gary Vayner Chuck. We have a very, very special episode today. A lot of staff members have decided that they want to give me a gift and have me taste it live on Wine Library TV, so that's what we're gonna do. But before we get to that, got a couple things on the agenda. Number one, several of you have asked what I had last night for our anniversary. Liz and I went to Crew, and we had a 1990 Rumier Maurice Saint Denis La Brousse, which was absolutely ridiculous. Parker gave it 87 points. He's wrong. Anyway, other than that, Tomorrow is the huge day. If you care at all, at all, I need you to pick up the New York Times tomorrow. We have something very, very special. I think you're gonna like it. And remember, arts and craft time, send it in. Finally, free.winelibrary.com. Many of you checked it out. Tons of comments, I appreciate it. It was huge, we're excited about it. Don't forget, there's a new product up today. Again, 1 p.m. p.m.? 1 p.m. Eastern, every day, standard time. Check it out, it's gonna be a big, big part of Wine Library and Wine Library TV. So, um, without further ado, is anybody here yet with a gift? There. Come on. Happy birthday, kid. Thanks, man. for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Thanks, Bobby. All right, way to go. Staff really cares. 2005 Vendage White Zinfandel. Very, very thoughtful and nice gift from Bobby. I think it's about $4 US retail, and let's see uh, what we think. White Zin, good way to start your birthday. Zesty, um, fruity. Tough to really get a big nose. I mean, the only thing I'm getting is a little hint of uh, strawberry. Um, other than that, it smells very spritzy and almost like a, uh, like a, like a fresca, if that makes any sense. That soda. Makes me think of Crystal Light as well. Didn't you remember those commercials from the 80s? That's when many of us became men. All right, let's taste this. Now, a lot of people have been asking us to do a White Zinfandel tasting, and so here's our, our first opportunity, and maybe our last, but I'm not bashing White Zinfandel. It's a fresh and fruity kind of drink. The sugar content is high. I mean, this really, you know, you can get this thrill out of, you know, um, punches and drinks and sangrias and, and, you know, a lot of things you can probably buy in the aisles of the, uh, of the supermarket by you for 99 cents, buy two, get one free. So the investment bothers me um, from that standpoint because it's very low in alcohol. Um, what is it, let's see. 11% and that might even be high, you know, where they normally they lie going down. Um, but this is fruity. It's, you know, got a little bit of peach cobbler on it, believe it or not, which was kind of a nice flavor. I and mean, this is an enjoyable drink. I'm never gonna bash anybody for drinking what they like. This is not my style. This is not what I would consider world-class wine. Um, let's go, uh, you know, we're rating this as wine. Let's go um, 65 points. All right. Is anybody else gonna give me a gift? Maybe something a little bit more respectable out here? Danny, what's up buddy? Happy birthday buddy. Thanks man, I appreciate it. Uh-huh, okay. Turning Leaf, 2005 Reserve White Zinfandel. And, uh, and uh, I'm starting to uh, really wonder if I'm treating my team as well as I thought I have been. Let's see what's going on here. A little darker. You know, a little bit more color than the uh, than the uh, Vendage. This has almost more, there's a lot of fritzing going on. You know, this brings back memories of like 
high school parties when the girls would drink things, you know, that weren't beer and you never knew what was gonna happen a couple hours later. So let's taste this. I'm gonna give one of the great analogies of all time because it's spot on. Almost makes me wonder what's really going on here. Do you remember the thin, long, like thumb length, thin Jolly Rancher candies? They were awesome, perfect for Halloween. You'd have to go like this, they were really good. They'd always like stick to your teeth, you thought you were gonna break your teeth. This is exactly what this tastes like. That watermelon, this is watermelon Jolly Rancher, period, 100%. And on that alone, it's tricking me to enjoy it. I'm gonna taste it again. I mean, it's very obvious to me why people like this. You can drink an entire bottle of this in 3.9 seconds and have a buzz going, but from a wine standpoint, this really does taste like artificial juice. And uh, only because I love that Jolly Rancher, I'm gonna give this wine a 69 point score. All right, anybody else please step up and give me a gift that is a little bit more respectable. Hey, Jay. What's up, man? Thanks, man. Brian Wooley, man behind free.winelibrary.com. So a lot of you are going to like that guy. And he doesn't like me. Woodbridge, 2005, white Zinfandel. And uh, I've now completely been convinced that I have been set up for my birthday. Hopefully they finish it off with a bang and at least come through for me a little bit. Mondabi is behind the Woodbridge. In between color, you know, we're, we're dealing with pinks and peaches and all those wonderful colors you expect in wine today. Um, this has been fun. A little like a uh, candid camera kind of stuff. All right, so this is a little bit peachy. This is a tight nose compared to the other two. Very complex and tight, maybe a little more earthy, very thought-provoking nose. Birds are on fire today. I wonder if you guys are hearing that. John, can you go yell at the birds, see if they'll stop? Because I have a very serious assessment to give. This wine tastes like water. H2O at its finest. Now, the way the scene is out there these days, folks, you know, a bottle of Voss or Fiji or some of the iceberg, this actually may be less expensive than bottled water. So I'm gonna say this might be not a pass. This may be a screaming value of H2O beverage. That all being said, this might be the worst of the bunch. It's giving the least, at least, it's not even giving me the thrill of strawberries and peach and watermelon and juice. This is almost just really, really tough. I'm gonna go 58 points on this, and that's in honor of Jason Glenn, a former wonderful special teams captain of your and my New York Jets. Um, did not expect to be drinking these wines on my 31st birthday. Let's see if we can get one final wine that rocks it out so you can enjoy it and so I can enjoy it. Anybody? Hopefully your favorite Maynard Chuck. <laughs> Thank you, my arch enemy. All right, Darth Vader makes a cameo and boy oh boy did he come through for me. That's right, everybody's been asking for it and Darth Vader obviously knows what the fans want. I have never opened one of these before. All right. We're taking a five liter of Franzia White Zinfandel. All right, that's not working. Oh, here it is. All right, here we go. Oh boy, this could be bad. I might get dirty for my dinner tonight. Actually, I think I've gotta do this. I may do a Franzia stand. Oh, this is wonderful. It's working. It's like somebody's peeing white sin into my glass. Fantastic, all right. Five liters of pure fun and excitement. Franzia, white Zinfandel, 12 bucks for five liters. I mean, are you kidding me? QPR city, folks. Let's taste it. You know, once again, strawberries. You know, I like strawberries and, and they're obviously in here as well. It's light and zesty. It's, you know, it actually it may be the best.
best of the bunch. Not bad in a white Zinfandel kind of way. Um, you know, since 1906, it says on the box. So obviously they've been doing something, right? They're 100, I'm only 31. So who am I to say that this wine's a 69 plus point wine? But I'm gonna do it anyway. 69 plus, the winner, ding, 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 Franzia Box Wine has won a tasting on Wine Library TV. I bet she never thought that would happen. That all being said, I have one final request and a question of the day. Question of the day. What is the worst bottle of wine you've ever had? And I want you to admit it that it's probably White Zinfandel. Admit you drank it, I wanna see it. And number two, here's my real, real plea of the day. I wanna break the record for most visitors on Wine Library TV in one day. And there's only one way I can do it, through you. So, huge email campaign tonight as a gift to me. Tell everybody you know, and I have a recommendation. Send them a link to episode 125. I think that sums up our show better than any way. Jason did an amazing job, and obviously it's what we want people to see. I'm Gary Vaynerchuk, with you, an itsy bitsy part of me. And you know what? With a good glass of 58-point wine, we're changing the wine world, aren't we?